while making art you're like in this boat and you have no idea where you're going like you're paddling and then you get tired and you like lay on your on your boat being like fuck this what is happening to me what am i doing on this boat going nowhere like but i'm gonna keep going you know oh and then you find something amazing you make something and you think it's worth it this is the best feeling of my life and then it's gone again and you're again in this boat going nowhere maybe really excited really fucking scared but you you're gonna do it so it's like this this is like my journey with art i think It has to do with your perception and um, everyone's perception is different. Therefore, you create like a different reality and your own truth. And art is the only way you can do it without acting like a tyrant. The beautiful thing about that I think is about being an artist and that's what makes me an artist is the, the freedom to explore my own ideas. Like, uh, to me, art is much more uh, a vehicle to communicate. It's uh, like a language, but it's a more intimate uh, kind of language because it comes directly from the inner self, rather than uh, words that are pre-made for us to choose them and put them into a sentence. She was like, yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, this seems so far away from me. And this, this is such a crazy thing. And then I just, I just told her, you know, maybe it is such a crazy thing and it's far away from you, but it's something you've never seen before, is it? I think the beauty of art in a way is that it gives you an image, a sound, a, an experience you've never lived before. And I think even if you like it or you have, n or you have like negative associations with it, it's Wow, it's like, thank you for showing me that this could be done that way. And even if it has no function at all or no, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay. I've seen something I never saw before. You know, but in the end, art is a gift. You, you are making something for people. You are giving them something and it's yours. And regardless of what it is, yeah, be, be nice. <laughs> but you have to see it for yourself as something you're giving to people so you have to do it authentically and, and that it comes from you if I enjoy them that's it like I want to like like get to a point where I'm in my own installation built by me made by me and if I do it like it makes me feel how, how I expected it to make me feel and that's it for me it's like yeah this is okay this is perfect for me and if somebody else comes I don't get this I'm like, yeah but I do because I did this for myself to f yeah Nietzsche talks about um, you having to to make art for yourself first and that's when people will be able to relate most because the artist uh, well making art it's about elevating the self in a way he talks about it in a really godly like way, you know, <laughs> it's just, but uh, yeah, I think it's important. I think people can relate more when you make art from a really personal place. Mm. I mean, I guess everybody hopes that, right? That uh, there's something to be taken from it. Mm -hmm. um, and what that is, I guess, depends on the person who's experiencing it anyway. What they see in my work isn't 
actually meet because all they can see is themselves. <laughs> People can only know you as far as they know themselves. So in the fact, people can't really see me, but if I'm as honest as possible, they're seeing themselves and whether it makes them uncomfortable or whether it makes them happy, it's still showing the big picture. And if they feel uncomfortable, then I'm still doing a good job because then I'm showing them parts of themselves they don't want to see. It's something that really gives you insight on things that uh, other people that do not do art can't really get. I don't know. It's something I just need to get out of my system in a way. It kind of showed me a different perspective on the things. You just let loose and it's, it's, your, it's your truth, I guess. You yeah, I find it just really therapeutic. So it's always been about releasing stuff. Like, it just gives me the gift of living and experiencing new. While painting, I, I already like erase it from my brain so I can like think of other stuff and it makes me a little bit calmer. I've been in love with art. Art broke my heart. Art has got, the most confu has got me the most confused in my entire life. Art has made me feel very small. Art has made me question everything around me. Art has lost me, and I have lost art. I have been so lonely because of art. I have... I had the greatest conversation about art. <laughs> I love art, and art loves me, but not always. Art and my subconscious have secret talks, and sometimes art brings the worst of me. Art plays with my ego, and my ego plays with art. And sometimes I hate it. I feel like there is no purpose. Art as opposition, art as a questioning tool, art as a question to moral, art as a dance to silence, and art as a simple personal discovery with the potential to be shared. We're here and we're trying to find our language and we're trying to speak out loud. And we're all here and we're doing that and it's beautiful. Because in the end, it's about the art making. It's about creating these things, these amazing things that they just don't exist. And each one of us just takes the responsibility to make their own work. We're all here by choice. We're all here because we want to say something and we all share that <laughs> such romantic shit <laughs>